Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius dragons. Welcome to your reading for April. Let's see what, let's see what the guides and the universe have for you today. So for the month of April, remember energies can be um, crossed. So if you're dealing with somebody, oh, three came up together. If you're dealing with somebody, um, their energy might be coming in or a different situation. So let's just see what's come out for you. So we have complacency, quest, and dissipating. I feel that you, you've you been sort of feeling down a little bit, but I feel that you've you've been doing some work, obviously, to to try to get rid of these feelings, right? Um, you know that you have to do something. And I hear that it's like, you know that you are, I just heard, you know you're made for more. You you know and you understand that you you should be sort of doing more but i i don't i'm also sort of hearing that some of you are probably saying yeah well what what right it's like shannon tell me what <laughs> so let's see um let's see let's see what guidance we have for you okay for sagittarius I feel like you, and I don't think the complacency, I don't think that that's like a, a, a being stubborn complacency. I'm hearing that it's more of a, um, just, no, I'm not taking all those. It was more of a, just a not knowing and sort of, it's like, yeah, okay, I get it. And it's not like you've stopped everything. It's just with whatever this is, it's sort of like you're just waiting for messages to come out to sort of help you. And it's like, okay, I get it, but what, but what? So let's see. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Whoa. Okay. And you know what? This card, this card, and this card have all been a pain. I'm going to leave these because there's three. Okay. So we have three very distinct piles here that's happened. So let's see what's going on in here. So we have the hangman and the hangman, I'm going to say that it was sort of in reverse. Um, you, you couldn't see yet. Yeah, so, okay, let's start with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this is either somebody else um, or this is you. But if this is to do with love, something hadn't happened. Okay, and um, I think that somebody, like you might have, I'm hearing here that you might have been attached to somebody who wasn't attached to you. Okay, um, like, and, and it's it's one of those situations where it's like, you really, really, really like the person, um, but it just didn't work out and you you just can't seem to let them go. You can't see what really happened here in a new perspective. Now, alternatively, if you're not into the whole love thing, um, it's, it's almost like you've, when it comes to this quest that you've sort of been a little bit, I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing like standoffish. It's sort of like, well, why do I want to do that? Sorry guys. I'm just, I got, um, got another cat. <laughs> I have three now. Um, because she, she, her family had to get rid of her because of allergies. So she's a lovely cat, but she's huge. And some of those cat, I just have cat hair everywhere. <laughs> so let's keep going. Okay. So we have the queen of pentacles and here's the thing is even though this situation is going on, I feel like you you have everything and you're very stable. I, I really get the sense that this is you. You, but look at this, but here, it's almost like she looks like she's very down, right? It's like she, she looks like sort of almost like just like, you know, very complacent. It's like, and it's not like you don't have pentacles. You have growth all, all around you. You have all of this amazing stuff around you, but for some reason, it's just, um, yeah, you're just, you're just not happy. Yeah. Look, you can't put this. Yeah. Okay. So we have the queen of wands in reverse. And even though, yes, that could be you, um, very much so. So we have death in reverse and the two of pentacles. You're not, um, 
You're not letting something go. You're not letting something go. Um, you may feel stuck with it, right? And again, this is about old perspectives, right? That could be blocking you. Like you're seeing something and you know that you need to change your point of view. You need to bring it into balance. Um, and, oh, okay. So this actually very much could be you. This Queen of Wands is in reverse is, I think that you actually need to, oh, guys, you actually need to become okay with whatever this is, with this complacency. Maybe you have a hard time staying in place. Maybe you have a hard time just, um, yeah, you have a hard time with your not so wonderful side. It's almost like when you go into the reverse queen of wands, we all go into the reversals, right? We, we have different signs, right? We're very dynamic beings, but I get the feeling like whenever you try to, you know, express yourself and say that you're like assertive or stubborn or, um, when you're hurt, right? Um, I feel like you sort of, you can't, I'm not saying you can't control it. It's just that you think of yourself so negatively when you go into the space. You, you, you're the worst one for you when you go into this mindset, right? And this is why you're looking down because you don't feel stable when your reverse queen of wands comes out, right? You're like, ah, you know, and you can't, I get the feeling like it's something that's sort of been like beaten into you because look at here, it's, it's been like, it's all been beaten into you, but you have the two of pentacles. You need to bring this into balance. Okay. It's, it's like you, you need to become adaptable and, um, and, and I hear that if you like, you need to balance out who you are right? With your stability, you need to balance out your queen of pentacles with your reverse queen of wands because being angry is okay. Being, having negative emotions is okay. It's what you do with them. Okay. Having anger is okay. It's what you do with it. You need to, as a properly functioning human being, you need to have anger. Okay. Or else all you do is live in fear because fear is based in anger, right? Anger is based in fear. They go hand in hand. So you need to gain control and you need to gain balance over these past uh, patterns that you have. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles um, and it's in the upright here. This is about a new opportunity, okay? This is about... Um, just physical benefits, right? Like, and prosperity, like this is about being open to receive. See how it's like, so here you're having sort of some troubles with your pentacles, with your stability, with your health, with your finances, education, whatever it, it earthly matters there are. And whoa, just a second guys. And it's almost like as you start to work through this, you're sort of, this is going to be dissipating, right? Like you're all of a sudden going to be feeling, right? You're going to be feeling yourself again. You're going to be back in your quest. Because look at this, Ace of Pentacles, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, okay? This is about needing to change to adapt to difficult circumstances, right? This is exactly what we've been talking about here, right? The moon, you're going to be seeing truths. You're going to be, this is your soul calling you, okay? You're, this is about healing, okay? And deep healing and letting the past go. There's something that is, that you're hanging on to, yet the priestess in reverse, you're denying yourself. This is all about denying your soul, yet you're getting burnt out. And um, it could be affecting relationships, but with the two of cups, with this reading, I'm really hearing that this is you and your soul. This is your conscious and your subconscious, and you're going to be uniting them. You need to unite them. This is your um, very essence 
um, needing to come together in balance, right? You need to focus on you finding you. What a reading. Whew. Please, guys, like and subscribe. I'm going to get more cards here. Um, leave comments. Um, I'm very interested. I'm not going to take those. Very interested um, to see how, who this resonates. Um, wow. This is a really amazing reading. So, And I do appreciate you guys supporting me. Um, just a tiny channel. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I want to be a bigger channel. I love it. I love doing this. So, um, and I do, of course, appreciate everything that you guys do for me. So just your energy, just watching it. Okay. So what we have that's come out, a lot of reversals. We have the seven of wands in reverse and the nine of wands in reverse. Lots of fire in reverse, guys. And guess what you are? Your fire. So let me just get a read on this because there's a lot of reversals. So what I'm hearing is... This is sort of like a, okay, listen up, okay, Sagittarius dragons. It's like, okay, you guys need to listen up. If you're not going to do what you're telling to, right? If if you're going to keep having weak boundaries, right? Um, it, like It's like you need to recover from these weak boundaries. You need to recover from this. Okay. And it's, it's, there's been some sort of, you need to break up with this imbalance, right? This is imbalance. This is this, you need to just release all of this, right? You need to break free from all of these and it's going to seem chaotic. Okay. And you're actually going to, here's the thing about the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is sort of like a grand, spiritual person okay it could mean but it's more of mm, when I think of the hierophant it's sort of like a figure a very big spiritual figure so um what is 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 when you turn this upside down here's the thing when I see this hierophant in the upright it's more about what I see as spiritual laws or religious laws and practices right so it's like marriage. It's all of these preconceived ideas around things, marriage and christenings and I don't know what else. So um, you guys get the hint. If you're religious, if you've been raised in religion, you'll know this is about turning these ideas upside down. This is about overthrowing old beliefs and old traditions. So something is in there nagging at you, telling you, right, that you, right, that you, you've, you need to behave a certain way or that this is wrong. And really, and that's just to sort of control you and to beat you down. And you need to realize, no, you know what? I'm a human, right? I'm allowed to be like this. It's what you do with it that matters. Okay, guys? So this is your, this is a big month for you guys, okay, for April. So it's about really going in and doing some deep healing work, okay? YouTube has amazing videos that um, that bring in meditations, um, right? Just to heal, even just listening to certain vibrations at night while you're sleeping, or even you can do tiny ones to meditate to, and that will help you. Okay, my beautiful Sagittarius dragons, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.